I am going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making when you get your drawn tiles and you go through the Charleston, which is half the game. If you don't already know, the Charleston is kind of like pass the trash. You pass three tiles that you don't want to your opponents and you do it up to six times. Your hand can change drastically during the Charleston. The goal is to be set for success with four discards or less. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a four player game. I'm going to roll the dice to see which player we are. I rolled a five. So we're going to be one, two, three, four, five. We'll be player one. Player one gets 14 tiles. Then I'm going to create a mock Charleston. I'll remove all the jokers from that Charleston and then mix up the tiles and build it. And then we'll get started with the exercise. There's the mock Charleston with no jokers. Let's look and see what we can do with these tiles. This is going to be interesting because we have one joker and mixed suits with no multiples. Multiples are pairs, punks, kongs, pair, three of a kind, four of a kind, respectively. So when this happens to me, I look for patterns. In this case, I see that we have all the fives. We have a lot of five, six, four, five, six, three, four, five, six consecutive run tiles. So I think we should play consecutive run. All these are three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass one of each suit. We picked up a six, that's in our range. Three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven. We did get a multiple here. Let's see if we can leverage that multiple with what we have. We have a pair of ones, one, three, five. We do have some odd potential. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. One, one, three, five, seven, nine. We could maybe do a year hand. I think odds is much better. Let's pass one of each suit. Okay, there's a one odd and we have twos. Maybe one, two, three, four. One, two, three, five, one, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, consecutive run. I would not pass like numbers. That's a category of its own, like numbers, so I don't do it. So we should pick a focus here. One, two, one, two, two, five. Let's give up this five. One of each suit. Let's see, right across left. Okay, one, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. North six, those can go. I'm thinking one, three, five. One, three, 
or one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's give up the three. Or we could pass mixed suits and give up the five. Right across left. We got a one. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Ones, ones. We might even be able to play a quint with this joker. Let's give up that five. One, two, one, two. All the ones. If we have all the ones, maybe we should keep that right there. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Let's give up the dragon and a three. I don't think that would be too useful. Maybe two tiles if they're lucky. We got a one. I think we could maybe play that quint. Let's pass these three. So we went right across left, left across right. So this is the last incoming pass. We got a two and a flower. One, two, one, two, one, two, eight. So we need to do an optional cross. We're going to take from all these. So let's decide. We have one, two options here. Let's give that up. Oh, you know what? If we play that quint, we need a consecutive plan here. If we play the quint, we have our one, two, three here. That would be the third hand down. One, two, three, one, one. Or we could play one, two, one, two, concealed. Con Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, versus nine. We have one more, really, we're equal because this can be played with either one. So we have to decide. Let's say, let's give up the two because we could still do one, two, one, two and use that as joker bait. Let's pass two. So we have discards, two discards, three discards really, but we've, we're playing a quint maybe, or one, two, one, two, concealed pung hand. Last one under consecutive run, we could use this as joker bait. But I think I would probably try to play that quint, hold this as joker bait, get rid of these first. Never say that you have nothing when you get your drawn tiles. This is a case in point. You can make anything work. Let's do this again. I rolled a seven, one, three, five, seven. So we're going to be player three. Non dealer will get 13 tiles. So for this one, I think I would try for maybe a year hand. We have a pair of eights and a white dragon and a one and a two. So maybe 
we could pick up some wins and play a year hand, the concealed news year hand. As an option though, I think I would keep five, six, seven, eight, because maybe we could play a pair hand, the consecutive run pair hand with the matching dragon. Let's go ahead and pass those three. I try not to pass dragons, but a one, three, five, that's a little risky. If we pass this, it, it would be a, a more defensive pass, I think. There's a flower. Oh, we got a two. Okay, three green, two, zero, one, eight. Let's try for the year hand. There's a year hand that we could use four flowers. We wouldn't be able to use both eights, but it's an option. We could maybe do two, four, six, eight concealed hand under two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a two, three, nine. Let's pass one of each suit. One, two, yeah. There's a one, two, zero, one, eight. All we need is a north, east, and south. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Two, zero, one, eight. I'd keep going. One of each suit. Ooh, white dragon. We can pass these three. Let's hope for some wins. There's a south. So for this one, I would hold those. I would not pass uh, the flowers. I would say I want one. One. So we have a discard and joker bait. All we need is a north and an east. And then we can draw in here and here. We've got our pairs taken care of. 2018 with news. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, let me know. But I think that was pretty successful. One discard with joker bait. Okay, we'll do it one more time. I rolled an eight. We're north. Non-dealer, so we're gonna get 13 tiles. Okay, the first thing I do is look for multiples. We have a seven and, a nine, and an eight here. Sevens, eights. I would play something consecutive. Seven, eight, nine. Keep all the seven, eight, nine. We could maybe do six, seven, eight with the dragon. Let's keep the dragons. Already, we have to pick a hand because we only have two discards. Seven, eight. I wonder if we could do maybe instead of seven, eight, nine, we have no flowers. So I think the seven, eight, nine mix suit Kong hand, which is one thing I was considering, the fifth hand down under consecutive run. Let's give up the nine because we could play like numbers with sevens and utilize all these joke uh, dragons. Well, not all of them, at least two of them. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and discard these. We got an eight and a nine. 
seven, eight, nine, eight. We have a two. We could do six, seven, eight, nine, sevens. Hmm. I think I'd rather stick with the original plan. Seven, eight, maybe six dot seven crack eight dot red dragon. Let's discard these. Six bam. Six, seven, eight. If we can get a flower. North two. No flowers, that's a gap. Like numbers with seven, no gap. Let's pass those. Look at these wins. Maybe we could switch to a quint. We only need one quint of wins. Seven, eight. Six dot seven crack. Let's give up the green. Play either a quint or six, seven, eight dragon. Ones. I hope nobody would pass a pair. Okay, one, two. We have to decide. I would not pass a pair. Let's give up the white. Now, this is really risky, but we may be playing a quint. I would risk it passing these tiles. These would all fit a year hand. One category on the card. It's pretty risky. Here's an east and an eight and a flower. So we have one tile to pass. We're on our last right. So one thing we might consider is east and west with eights. In which case we could give up the red and a seven. Or we could keep the red and still maybe play a quint and pass two and do one blind. We could even play like numbers with eights, like this, and the dragon. That's even the right dragon. I think that's what I would do here. Let's pass two. So we're going to pass one blind. No keeper. And we have three. We can pass an optional cross. We got the eight. I'd say east and west with eights is pretty good. East and west with pairs of eights. We could still maybe play the quint, so I think I would discard those first. East and west with eights. Or a quint with west eight red. Let me know if you would do something differently with these tiles. I think those were quite interesting. They started out different than I expected. It's really interesting too how you can play just about anything. You can really make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. The results for each of those I think were decent. Let me know if you would have done anything differently. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing. 
Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.